our Earth is made up of various spheres. The lithosphere, biosphere, atmosphere, and most especially, hydrosphere, which occupies 70% large part of the Earth. And for today, we will explore the exceptional yet beneficial beauty that this hydrosphere can offer. The fresh water ecosystem of Bato Kamarinasu. So now, let's begin our journey with open mind and lots of questions. Then my three hour trip to reach aquatic ecosystem of Bato Kamarinasu begin. One of the famous freshwater ecosystems lies at Bato, province of Camarines. So this lake is considered as one of the tourist attractions which people can look up to. Having different varieties of plant species, big or small, to the warm breeze embracing your soul, and most especially, the eco-friendly surrounding that you are sure to love. for its metal made of bridge known as the line of Pangulo. Even varieties of non-living organisms like rocks can be found here and adds to the beauty of the place.
lake is surrounded with mountains, species of luscious green plants and trees, having clear blue sky, and most of all, clean, fresh water containing lots of aquatic species. All of this adds and contributes to the beauty of the place. several benefits, not just to the environment, but most especially to the people in the community. This lake, which serves as the primary source of income, after exploring Bato Lake for several hours, I felt amazed by its exceptional beauty and most especially their benefits to people and the community. With all of this, to continue its sustainability and preserve its exceptional beauty, conservation is a must and should be taken in consideration. So this can be done through plantation of trees in the catchment area of water body to prevent soil erosion and to reduce the soil problem of siltation in water body resulting in better survival of aquatic organisms. Avoid the establishment of industries, chemical plants, and thermal power plants near the water resources as their discharge affect the ecology of water body resulting in loss of biodiversity. Increasing public awareness as well is one of the most important ways to conserve aquatic biodiversity. So this can be done through accomplished educational programs, incentive programs, and volunteer monitoring programs. Even proper segregation and solid waste management also will take action to prevent water contamination which can kill lots of fresh water species and even overfishing to avoid species extinction. So all of those are the ways on how we can protect, conserve, and rehabilitate our aquatic ecosystem. Bato Lake is indeed an amazing aquatic ecosystem full of diversity and such an exceptional beauty of scenery. And I can say, Seeing